good day subscribers. Hope you're having a great day out there as always. If you're new here, I am Jeremy and today I want to take you guys through the top five mistakes beginners in the stock market make. If you have been investing for less than a year, today's video is going to be one of the most important videos you can possibly watch because I've been in the stock market for over a decade now. I've seen a lot of people come into this game. I've seen a lot of people leave this game and I've consistently seen some big mistakes made by new investors in the market. Those I want to share with you here today so it will save you a lot of money and it will put you on the right track to making the most money possible, okay? And being that I've been in this privileged position as far as like being on YouTube for over three years now, I've gotten to see, you know, mistakes made by beginners and beginners and beginners. And a lot of times they're the same exact mistakes made over and over again just by the next one coming through because there's always new people coming into the stock market and I'm consistently seeing these five mistakes made time and time again by folks who that are kind of newer in the stock market, okay? Also, I have my private stock market group and I get to see mistakes that are made by some folks in there. Now, most folks in there are actually like more advanced investors, but there are a lot of people who join that group and are very new investors and I get to see their mistakes. So uh, it's almost always the same five mistakes, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I hope you guys get a ton of value out of this. I hope this is a video that's gonna save you a ridiculous amount of money down the road, guys. And let's get into this. Alrighty, guys, coming in at the first one is a time and time again, I see new investors in the stock market get into this frame of mind where basically they worry about short-term success. They're so worried about short-term success. So essentially meaning they'll buy a stock and if that stock goes down, they think they're a horrible investor or something like that. And that's just absolutely the worst mindset you can have getting into the stock market. If you're gonna take stock market investing serious, you cannot care about your short-term success. You have to be focused long-term. How do we, I build the accounts over time? How do I build this account over the next three years, over the next five years? Your frame of mind really needs to be thinking long-term and not, oh my gosh, I bought this stock and it happened to go down today and now I'm down on the position and I'm down $15 on this position and what am I gonna do? If you're worried about so much into the short-term success when it comes to stocks, it's gonna be a very hard game for you. And that's not just stocks, that's investing in general. You wouldn't ever buy, let's say you were a real estate investor, right? You wouldn't ever buy a real estate property and think, okay, I bought this property. Okay, let me hope it goes up in value today so I can sell it tomorrow or something like that. That's not usually how you think. But in the stock market, since you can see stock prices every single day, new investors in the stock market, they get caught in this trap where they judge themselves based upon their first couple investments. And I'm telling you, that's just a big, big mistake because you'll start to get into a place where you think the stock market is not for you. Like I've been in the stock market for over 10 years and I don't even judge myself based upon short-term success or something like that. So why should you? You should absolutely not do anything. Think about it this way, okay? If you were, let's say you wanted to become a great uh, basketball player, right? You wouldn't just think, oh my gosh, I should be able to drain three pointers like it's nothing. You would think, okay, I'm probably gonna you know, be really bad at this at first, but with practice and with time, I'm gonna get better, I'm gonna get better, I'm gonna get better. And it's the same exact thing with stock markets. So don't think you're gonna have a massive amount of success in the short term. It can happen for you, but don't think it's gonna happen for you and don't worry about it. Think long term, think how am I gonna build wealth over the next two, three, four, five years or something I always bring up to my stock market group members. I always say, guys, listen, it's all about growing into the future. And I try to always remind them this when we're in a tough market, because when you're in a tough market, that's when a lot of folks really get caught up into the short-term negativity and things like that. You always got to have focus for the long-term and building accounts. And what I've seen time and time again is the folks that have that long-term mindset and are focused on building their accounts over the next three years, five years, seven years, 10 years, those folks are the ones who actually do it. Those folks are the ones that go from $3,000 invested to $10,000 invested, to $15,000 invested, to $50,000 invested, to six figures invested, so on and so forth. Those ones that actually have that mindset are the ones that make it really far. And the ones that fail, and the ones that give up, and the ones that quit the game, or all the ones that were so worried about if they lost their $20 in the stock market or something like that, okay? Don't worry about short-term success. Worry about company fundamentals. Worry about investing for the long-term. Worry about building accounts for the long-term, okay? That's mistake number one. By the way, make sure you guys hit a thumbs up if you're gonna enjoy this video. Let's get into number two. Alrighty, mistake number two that I see from beginners in the stock market all the time is this mistake that basically they buy into stocks blindly. What do I mean by this? 
They don't even know what to look for in stocks and they start buying stocks. They're like, oh, I heard about some stock over here or oh, this stock seems really exciting. They don't even know what to look for. They don't know PE ratios. They don't know company fundamentals. They don't know how to value a company versus its peers. They don't know any of the stuff, but they just start buying stocks. And I'm telling you, if you go into anything with no knowledge on like what to look for and whatnot, you're gonna cost yourself a lot of money, especially when you're investing. No matter what market you're investing in, I don't care if it's a stock market, real estate, crypto, uh, gold and silver, commodities, anything you could possibly think of, or just like small businesses you're investing, like private businesses and things like that, it doesn't matter where you're investing your money, you always gotta go in with a plan and like an understanding of this is how I value this thing, this is why I should put some money in this thing. But so many times I see people buy stocks blind, not even knowing what to look for in that stock, okay? You've gotta have a plan in place. It's gonna be very costly, if you don't want to like read books or take courses or things like that, right? It's going to cost you a lot more money by basically learning all the things step by step. I highly suggest you read some great books out there, The Intelligent Investor, The Little Book of Common Sense Investing, okay? I have a book called Modern Long-Term Stock Market Investing Secrets that's on Amazon. There's so many different great books you can get an idea of the strategies and the things to look for in stocks when buying stocks, okay? I also offer courses that go into exactly what I look for in stocks. You don't have to get those products, but I can promise you, you need to absolutely have a plan in place because it is going to take you years. If you don't ever read books, you don't ever watch courses and things like that and learn the different ways on how people invest, then you're going to be starting way behind everybody else. You can accelerate your plan by doing the research up front on, on knowing, oh, I need to look for this in stocks by people that have actually been in the market for a long period of time. And if you decide, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wing it you're gonna probably lose yourself a lot of money. And that's unfortunate because like all things, it does take work, it does take research in order to be good at something, okay? I, personally, over the past year, I've looked a lot into real estate investing because I'm interested in possibly over the next few years becoming a real estate investor over time, okay? And I could have just jumped in and started real estate investing right away, but I don't know anything about the markets, okay? So what have I been doing over the past year? I've been reading countless books on real estate investing. I've been watching courses on real estate investing because if that's a way I wanna diversify my wealth over time, I need to learn from folks that have been in these markets for 5, 10, 15, 20 years and have a ton of tips they can give me in either their books or their courses because that's going to give me an idea and I'm not going to be going into real estate investing blind and just winging it and hoping for the best and I'll, I'll just learn on the spot or something like that. I'll actually have a plan in place. Oh no, this is how I uh, actually value this property. Okay, this is what type of rental income this can do for me. Oh, this over here is going to need to be fixed. Oh, that's probably going to cost me. I have a plan in place, okay? It is so important, guys. You'll cost yourself so much money if you just invest blind, okay? And by the way, there's still gonna be learning that has to be done even after you read the books, even after you take courses, you still have to actually go out there and execute it, okay? But it's gonna accelerate your learning in a massive, massive way in years of time rather than, uh, you know, just hoping for the best and winging it, okay? Let's get into mistake number three. Mistake number three I see beginners in the stock market make all the time. This one is the most frustrating of the five, okay? This one for me is the most frustrating and it's consistently made by folks that are new in getting into the stock market, okay? And it's essentially buying a stock just because someone else did. You heard that the person on CNBC was buying this stock, and so you just went ahead and bought that stock because you're like, oh, they're dressed in a fancy suit, they must know what they're talking about. Or I mentioned a stock on the YouTube channel, and you're like, oh, Jeremy, he's been in the market for over 10 years, oh, he's had this stock be good, and this stock be good, okay. This next one he's gonna invest in is gonna be a next great stock or something like that. Let me just buy it. I don't know anything about the stock, I don't know anything about it, I'm just gonna buy the stock anyways. It is a massive, massive, colossal mistake if you are buying stocks in the stock market only because someone else did, okay? I can't even begin to explain to you how foolish it sounds when somebody that's actually been in the stock market for a long time hears somebody bought a stock over here and they blame it if it went bad because they just bought that stock and they heard it from somebody else or they did good on it and they're like, thanks for mentioning that stock, I happen to buy it and you just made me a bunch of money or something like that. I'm just like, what is going on in the stock market? If you wanna be successful over the long term, you yourself have to be good at picking stocks. And you can't count on others to hopefully try and make you money by mentioning stocks or something like that, okay? You need to be the one fully researching stocks. Here's what ends up happening, okay? Somebody on television or on the internet or somewhere will mention a stock that they're buying and why they're buying that stock. Somebody just jumps in that stock without researching it, without doing the background due diligence work on why, you know, maybe they shouldn't buy that stock or why they should buy that stock 
stock. They go ahead and jump in it, and the stock will go down in a short period of time. And what happens countless times is that new beginner in the stock market gets scared because they don't even know anything about that stock. So how are they supposed to have confidence? And sometimes they don't even have a plan. So they're buying stocks blind that they heard from somebody else. They're just throwing money around. The stock dips in the short term, goes down 5%, 10%, 15%. They sell out of that position for a loss, and they say, screw the stock market, it's a scam, I'm out of this thing. I just lost 10, 15, 20% of my money. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And it's like, if it was that easy to just invest in the stock market, like that would be a beautiful thing, right? If just every stock that someone happened to mention like always went up or something like that, like that would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. And every single person in the world would be a stock picker. But I can tell you it's not that easy. You actually need to do the real research work. You actually need to do the study on companies. You actually have to look at those financial metrics. You have to actually look at the business model. You actually have to look at the competitive and things like that. You have to actually do some work if you wanna make money in this game. And you're gonna cost yourself so much money if you're just buying stocks because someone else did. It's the most foolish thing a person in the stock market could do, the most. And uh, I wish I could just like send a chip into like every baby's brain that's ever born and it's just like, you know, there's just like a chip in there and it says, do not just buy a stock because someone else buying a stock. I wish I could do that. But unfortunately, that's probably the biggest mistake that will continue to be made for generations and generations into the future. And it is what it is, but make sure you don't make that mistake, okay? Let's get into number four. Mistake number four beginners in the stock market make when they're starting to research stocks and starting to look at like what to look for in stocks and whatnot, it could be a lot of information. The, the stock market is complicated in general. Learning all the things to actually, you know, go ahead and look for in a stock, that is very complex and it takes time to learn that. It doesn't just happen in a snap of a fingers. You actually have to take time, learn all these things and get better and better. So they're getting in the stock market and basically they just, there's a lot of information they think they're not so smart enough to become a stock picker. They're like, oh, I must not be smart enough because this stuff is complicated and I'm having to rewatch videos to learn from this and I, I must not be smart enough. And let me just tell you, when it comes to picking stocks to hopefully make money in them, you don't have to be a certain IQ, okay? There's no such thing as being smart enough to invest in the stock market. There are people that are highly successful in the stock market and graduated with a master's degree in business, okay? There's also a ton of people that are highly successful in the stock market and are high school dropouts or people that never even went to college, okay? There's no like you have to be a certain intelligence, you have to have a degree in order to be a successful stock market investor. There's no such thing as that, okay? What there is a such thing as is what is your work ethic? Can you handle volatility in the market? Stocks are always moving up and down every single day in the stock market. Stocks are moving up and down. You know, if the stock market goes up a bunch, the stock can move up huge. If the stock market goes down a ton, the stock can go down a bunch. And all those movements in the stock market, you gotta be able to handle volatility, okay? So those are two of the most important things you need to have. And neither one has to do with whether you have an 85 IQ or 100 IQ or 120 IQ or anything like that, okay? Can you work hard? Can you stay disciplined? And can you handle the volatility volatility that comes with the stock market. If you can't do those type of things, then it is gonna be hard for you to have success in the stock market. If you just wanna be lazy and be a stock picker, this is probably not the game for you, okay? If you can't handle the fact that your money is gonna go up and down in value all the time in the stock market, then this is probably isn't the game for you. If you can't stay disciplined, then this probably isn't the game for you. All those three things are the most important things in the stock market, and none of them have anything to do with whether you are smart enough or not. So don't get caught up in that game of thinking you're not smart enough because you didn't go to college, or I, I didn't get good enough grades in high school or something like that. Like that has nothing to do with anything. It has literally nothing to do with anything, guys. So don't, don't get caught up in that game, and uh, just realize, regardless of what your intelligence level is, like God-given or whatever, okay? Whatever your intelligence level is, it's gonna take time to learn this game and become super confident in your and there's no such thing as I'm not smart enough, okay? Let's get into mistake number five. Alrighty guys, mistake number five that beginners in the stock market make is basically this one is more prevalent to some of the folks that get in the stock market when they're already in their 30s, 40s, or 50s, okay? And it's basically when you invest too much money too fast, all right? The stock market is a perfect place to get involved with when you're, you know, let's say anywhere is between 18 years old and about 30 years old. Why? Because most folks that are 18 to 30 don't have much money to their name. Like they're just starting out their financial life and most folks in those age brackets, they don't have a lot of money. So they might have hundreds of dollars or might have thousands of dollars to their name. So it's not like they have a massive amount of wealth built up or something like that, okay? The folks I worry about sometimes that are getting in the stock market are folks that are, you know, in their mid thirties, in their forties, in their fifties, and they actually have a good amount of money saved, you know, tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars of like savings. And they get in the stock market and they think I want to grow that money. And the stock market is a 
great place to grow money. But unfortunately, if you have no experience in this game, it means you're probably gonna make some mistakes and there's a greater likelihood that you don't have a ton of confidence built up in yourself. As we spoke about before, the more experience you get in this, the more confidence you have. Someone like myself has been in for over 10 years and has seen a ton of markets, you know, stock market crashes, stock market corrections and all these sorts of things, bull markets and trade wars and blah, blah, blah. I've seen all these different things. It just builds confidence in myself. You're just getting involved with this. You're in your first year or so and you have, a, let's say, $100,000 of life savings and you plow that in the stock market right away, you're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're probably going to get really scared, especially if a stock correction happens or something goes wrong with one of your stocks. You're going to get scared out of this game real fast and you could have just lost yourself a ton of ton of money. And then you might even get into the mentality of, oh, I got to try to make it back as fast as possible. So then you get into even more speculative stocks and maybe those don't work out and you lose even more money. It's just kind of a bad, bad downward spiral. Okay. Don't invest too much money too fast. Invest at your own pace. Let's say you have $25,000 of life to save. Okay, you have that in your savings account, and you're like, eventually, I want to get all that money or most of that money put in the stock market. Okay, go at your own pace. Don't just go watch one of my courses. Don't just go buy some investing book or whatnot and think you know everything right off the jump and just start, you know, plowing all that life savings right in the stocks right away. Deploy it in increments. Like maybe say, okay, if you have 25, let's say you have 25,000 that you want to eventually get in the stock market. Maybe one month you you put 2,000 in your account. The next month you put another 2,000. The next month you put another 2,000, and then you feel more confident in your investment decisions. And then maybe you put another 4,000 in that account. Then the next month, if you're still feeling very confident, you can put another 4,000. But don't just all put it all in one day or something like that because you're probably going to make some mistakes and you don't have the confidence built up. Time in the market equals confidence in the market, and the more time you're in it, the more confident you'll get, which means you can invest bigger and bigger amounts of money and more and more of your wealth can be tied up in the stock market, but don't rush into it all in one day. That's once again, a tip for a lot of the folks who already have a lot of money. The best, play, the best time to get installed in the stock market is when you don't have a lot of money. When you only have a few hundred bucks to your name or a few thousand dollars to your name, that's actually the best time to get involved in the stock market in my personal opinion. It's not when you already have a half million dollars or something like that. And if you have that type of money, make sure you are being very cautious on how you invest and make sure you're taking it one step at a time, not just rushing money in your accounts because you want to grow it to a million dollars tomorrow or something like that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a ton of value out of it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button today. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Share this with somebody that maybe wants to get in the stock market. Peace.